Jeff and the Prince, The Road to Nomadic. This is episode 20, and today we are talking Pete. So stay tuned. Hi folks, Jeff here, and I am so excited today. As you can see, some things are changing. We're getting some paint on the walls, and I am just so excited about all this. We actually have an official move-in date. It is October 1st, and people ask me all the time, so what's your mom going to do? What's your mom going to do? And for those of you who are new to the channel, um, my mother has, I've been a caretaker for my mom for a while. She's been sick for a long time. In the last five years, I've been a caretaker. And it's wonderful, it's challenging, it's beautiful, and I'm so glad I got to do this with her. You know, she had two heart surgeries, um, she had back surgery, and I got to be in every single one of them because I work for me. And didn't have to ask for time off, I didn't have to do anything about it. So, it's just been amazing. And now, I'm getting ready to leave, and, and one of the big issues is, is what's going to happen with my mom. So, she found a place... Uh, over the weekend and I was gonna record it all and then it didn't kind of happen so that's why last Sunday did not happen um, because we weren't sure she was gonna get it and then there were some issues and uh, it, it kind of got crazy so instead of recording and putting out something we didn't know I just held off and come to find out she is gonna get it and it's in the senior community so she has a little bit of support and my sister is going to take over basically and but on a much lighter scale than where I'm at right now. So it's just still so cool and so much fun that it things automatically start lining up. You know, I was at the store the other day and realized I can go and buy a gallon of paint real quick because I was waiting. We were going to paint um, the porch here, and so I was kind of waiting to figure out what what we were going to do with that and if we were going to do it or she was moving and there was all this like up in the air kind of stuff and and if we were going to do that then it's not worth it just to buy one gallon of paint and so it, it was just all these things that were in the way of me actually just going out and now that we're now that she's moving then i know that i can just go it's time i went and grabbed a uh, gallon of paint as you can see, we started that all up. I'm going to hopefully show you the finished product before this video, but we'll see where the progress goes. Uh, last night I stayed out here, and that's what got me thinking of, <laughs> of toilet paper rolls, because I was thinking about the wet bath. I was looking at all the different little things. You know, what will I really need to actually live in here? And it's not going to be what I wanted. It's not going to be everything that I, I probably won't be able to handle everything I needed to be in here for me to go nomadic, completely nomadic. I'm probably going to have to stay at some um, parks for a while and have some hookups for a while. So it's going to cost me a little bit more. Um, and I have a friend's place I can stay at for a little bit if I can't l quite leave state. Um, but it's it's I, all coming I, it's all coming together. It's all coming to be here. And how do I deal with all the things that has to be done and what do I actually need and where am I going to put it <laughs> and all that needed to be done um, and everything needed to be painted before I can even figure any of that out so hence the painting <sighs> so tell me guys where are you at in this process are you going nomadic have you been nomadic already do you have any tips or pointers what are, are some of your concerns as you go do this have you found an RV yet um are you just, you know, following along because I'm fun and cute? That's fine, too. I like it. So, give me some comments down below. I'm going to probably check in in a little bit. I'll see you soon. Hey, folks. Jeff here again. And funny story. I realized I didn't take all these off. I didn't take them off the doors or the drawers. And as I started working and started getting some stuff done, um, <laughs> they showed up and they were in my way. I got the black paint to go over these. We're going to paint these with a nice shiny black when all of everything's said and done. And my sister's working on my curtains. I got the fabric for that. 
you guys, I am so excited when this is all done and over and we can actually celebrate what is really here. So stay tuned. You are loved. Hey folks, Jeff here and I'm back painting. Um, I got the little jewels all painted on the back. We'll see those a little bit later. But it's places like this that drive me freaking crazy. You know, these little spaces. And yes, I could take off this door and it might make it a little easier. Um, but the, uh, the, the screws that are holding up that door are actually smaller than the ones that are everywhere else. So it's a smaller square. I don't have that bit. And for what it would, the little bit of convenience it would uh, use for me isn't worth uh, moving it. So, yay. So I'm playing around. As you can see, it's pretty much painted. Uh, for the most part, we're playing some fun, having some fun still. Um, I'm debating whether or not I'm going to fully paint the ceiling or just hit the little spots that need to hit. And, um, yeah, I, I, I'm just really kind of excited to be starting getting this done. And then I can start moving some stuff in. I did some measurements today. And we're going to do some cool stuff up at the top that I'm really excited to see how it works and see what I can get uh, done there. And... And then a little bit more storage. Ooh, because you know we all love a little bit more storage in <laughs> something this small. Um, I am on the lookout for a Dutch oven. Uh, so if you find one, let me know that's reasonable. Or if you have one in storage, preferably. Because a lot of times you inherit those kind of things from grandma and it's in the basement because you used it once to make a pot roast five years ago. I need one of those. Um, because I don't have an oven. My niece is actually making me a solar oven uh, that's going to work kind of like a crock pot. It's kind of cool. So we'll talk about that when it comes in. And yeah, I'm so these are all things that I'm doing, getting things done. And you know, moving date is October 1st. So lots, lots to do. I'll be back before we finish this up. So folks, I actually think we're done with the, uh, the inside. I just wanted to show you my little jewels. Yay. They're all nice and black. They're going to be pretty. And how I did that is I just put them in a box. In a shoe box. And spray paint them. I got some hinges to do real quick. And, you know, I'm just excited to get it all put together. We're going to be doing that later on today and tomorrow. So you probably may not see it um, until next week or so. Um, we got some great things on the horizon. Uh, I'm so excited to be sharing this time with you and sharing this, these moments. You know, part of it's for you, part of it's for me uh, to take down these times. You know, as this new adventure begins, it's getting really close. There is a date now. If you didn't hear, it is October 1st. I don't remember what I said to you guys now. And... So I, I'm excited. I hope you are too. We're going to have some great adventures coming. So you are loved.